Okay, we have us a, what looks like a Wabon mini split. I'm not familiar with these. That's throwing me a H3 error code before I go Googling to find out, find the manual or the meaning of the error code. I'm gonna check out here because inside the blower's running and out here, nothing is. So I'm gonna just do basic checks, see if we got power, see if something shorted um maybe check pressures make sure there's some refrigerant so here we go Two forty. Mm -hmm. I got two forty here. Looks like we have a varying DC signal here. So we should be communicating. All right, next I'm going to um, pull this off and check to make sure we have refrigerant. Well, there is refrigerant in there. That's a good start. Hello. What in the world? And we got a decent pressure. Those temperatures seem to be about right. So now let's dig in and see if we can't figure out what that error code is. All right, it looks like H3 indicates compressor. 
overload. Hmm. I'll start taking this thing apart and look at a couple things. Okay, it does look like we have a inverter board on this one. Not all mini splits have inverters. I was looking for a, like a capacitor or something. Not going to find it on this one. Oh, this is still hot, so I can't touch anything. <laughs> So let me put this back on. We're going to kill power and start the system up and watch what happens. All right, now inside, it is set to cool. It just came on. Filthy. It's a compressor overload, but um, let's cool it down and then we might heat it up.
right, I hear the compressor revving up. Condenser fan motor slowing down. Let's see if I can get a compressor RLA 12.18 amps. Of course, I don't have a head pressure. That's my suction. Sorta. Of. Yeah, I guess that's my suction pressure. I'm still not pulling but about four amps and keep an eye on it all right it has been running and has started to slow down I am cooling getting decent pressures never got an amp draw over 4.2 um, I, I did not find a manual on this, but um, that's my next step. Try to find a manual and see if I can't read up more exactly on that error code. I got it too far up. All right. That is much more to my liking. Well, I'm not finding what would have caused the error code. But I can clean up that coal a little bit. That may help. screws left over <laughs>
Well, guys, I never was able to find a manual on that or verify that that's a correct reading for the error code. Um, the owner was not there, but he said that he thinks he has the manual somewhere. So if it happens again, maybe we can dig that up and find out what it is. If y'all know what the H3 is on a Wabon, um, Blue One was no help. Google didn't really help me. Um, anyway. It's working now. Let's hope it doesn't throw another error code like that in the near future. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.